everybody welcome to masterpiece show tonight as always we are going to have another very very special guest in our show it's my pleasure to introduce one of the most awesome and inspirational teachers santiago zambrano santiago welcome to masterpiece show hi mauri hi everybody i'm really happy to be here thank you so much all right thank you so much santiago for accepting this invitation well, before we start with this interview, we want to send a special greetings to all people who are watching this show around the world. We want to send a special greetings to all people who are watching this show in Europe, in the Netherlands, Scotland, England, Spain, Italy, and Germany. Thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for being part of Masterpiece Show. We want to send a special greetings to all people who are watching this show in China, South Korea, Saudi Arabia, and Australia. Thank you so much for being part of Masterpiece Show. We want to send a special greetings to all people who are watching this show in Canada, the USA, Mexico, Trinidad and Tobago, Panama, Brazil, Argentina, Paraguay, Colombia, Peru, and of course here in Ecuador. Thank you so much for your kind messages and thank you so much for being part of Masterpiece Show. Well, so now I am going to explain to you the parts of this interview. As everybody knows, uh, this interview is divided into several sections. The first section is called background. Tonight, Santiago is going to tell us about his academic background, his studies, and so on. Then we will have the chance to talk to him about education. We have some pictures and I am going to ask some questions to Santiago about the best pictures. After that, we have uh, some games. We're going to play uh, three games in total. The first game is called and hide the picture. The second game is called the curious wheel. And the third game is called let us know. Almost at the end, we, we will have the chance to ask Santiago the three final questions. And at the end, we will have the chance to read all the messages that people will send us to our Facebook Live chat. All right, so with this, now let me uh, show you important notes about our special guest. All right, so here we go. Okay. Our special guest, Santiago Zambrano, is an English instructor and he received his master's degree with minor in linguistics and didactics of teaching foreign languages at this prestigious university, Universidad Central del Ecuador. Tonight, Santiago is going to tell us important information about his experience as an English instructor and we are going to talk about education. All right, so let's begin. Santiago Santiago, can you tell us a little bit more about your academic background, please? Okay, thank you, Mauri. Uh, well, I started my studies in elementary school and Loyal Faro High School. Sorry, Loyal Faro is in the elementary school, it's in downtown. Uh, it is now, at the beginning, it was in uh, Guayaquil Street, and the other uh part was uh Ichimbia. nowadays i think it's only at Chimbia. this was my elementary school loyal faro it's in downtown then i studied at uh, mejia high school yes uh that's why i'm really happy when i 
I returned to my home. Yeah, so I I stayed there for a long. My my, I don't know. Oh, some beautiful years. I remember really happy this part. Then I studied the university, at Central University, and my master degree at the Central University too. All right, very interesting. Well, we can see that Santiago has a really nice uh, academic background. And well, before we continue with this interview, I would like to know a little bit more about this wonderful experience. Santiago, how do you feel working at your secondary school? Of course, you were part of that institution when you were a student, but now you are teaching over there. So how do you feel working at your high school? Ah, really happy. I. I would like to say that at the beginning, when I uh, I knew that I had to study, uh, that I had to teach there, uh, I was really happy uh, because I felt like I returned to home. I go back home, so uh, it was incredible. It was incredible. My uh, my first step when I know it about it, it was I had to call my mother and say, "Mom." uh i have i have to to return to home but this time to teach so i was crying my mother too it was it was a special a special feeling that i had yeah and we can see that you have back there the the, the flag of your high school yes <laughs> there you are yeah something that i have noticed from students uh um, of this uh, prestigious inst uh, institution, Mejia High School, is that where, um, wherever they are, they are always with their flag. So my question is, is it mandatory for all the students to take uh, this flag with, with them, wherever they are? <laughs> uh, it's mandatory because we feel love. The love is the, the, the feeling that uh everybody from my high school take the, the flag to show because uh, there is there is something there uh in my high school so everybody say that for example say you don't feel what the mejias feel because you don't you don't stay you have to stay you have to study at mejia uh, high school to feel what mejias uh, feel that's why we express our love for our, our high school every everywhere every time whatever uh, with a flag because it's uh, remember remind us a lot of good uh, uh, a lot of a lot of things we happen at the high school. Mm -hmm, that's right, yes. And by the way, we want to send a special greetings to all Mejia High School students. Who are watching this show there you are some uh, uh messages so remember that at the end of this show we will have the chance to read all the messages so thank you so much for being part of masterpiece show all right and yeah we have had many students from here high school who are now studying around the world most of them got students and it's uh, really nice to know that this uh, prestigious institution has many many students around the world by the way studying at the most prestigious universities around the world thank you so much perfect all right so now uh, santiago it's time to talk about education can you tell us a little bit more about your experience as an english instructor please yeah okay i i started to teach when i was uh still a student yeah when i was a student uh because i was in the second year of university i had the opportunity to 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 work at Mad um, maxwell high school it was a uh, really small uh high school with a few students but was my first experience it was really really crazy because i was so nervous uh uh I don't know, you know, what's the first time always we're going to be nervous. So uh, it was so crazy. Uh, there I was four years. 
I had contact with my students the, from there and uh, really happy when I talk with them. And then I I work at uh, Sagrados Corazones de Rumipamba. I I was there for almost 10 years. It was my my university because I learned a lot of there, a lot of I learned uh, about curriculum planning everything uh it was really good and good experience i had a lot of friends from there uh, it was nice it was nice because i met many people important people that nowadays um also i work um and now, then i was at mejia high school and also i i work uh for a, a little time in Central University in the law faculty and the uh, police uh, superior uh, there was uh, I was working there for a few time for a little time so uh, the problem was uh, the new law government uh, the time because the schedule is not good uh, it's it, it was a little longer in the high school and also i work at referee uh, institute uh, the same problem was there but the schedule was a problem so i can't i couldn't continue, uh, keep working there mm -hmm. uh, and that's it some institutes when i start my my working career my english career sorry all right perfect very interesting well, Santiago, uh, well, since you studied at Mejia High School at this prestigious institution, uh, now probably you 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 had a chance to work with your 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 teachers, your your former teachers, and then well, at the beginning you were student teacher, but then you were colleagues. So how do you feel working with part of your teachers? And now they are you are colleagues. So how do you feel working with your with your your former teachers? It was nice. It was nice. Uh, I felt a little strange at the beginning because uh, first of all, when I went to the high school as a teacher, uh, it was the first time I was in the inspection general. That's the principal part of the, my high school. It was my first time. It was there because when I was a student, I never, I, I, I never, I, I never been there because it was really, really difficult. Only especially the the, the crazy, the craziest students were there. But I am not. I, I was the normal student there. So uh, there was the first, the worst uh, sensation was this. It was crazy. Then I, I saw uh, some teachers that I, I had when I was a student. Um, many of them was retired, so I can I couldn't see them. But mm -hmm. I had a teacher, uh, Estelita Miranda. She was my teacher, a uh, French teacher, uh, when I was an segundo. So uh, this is not second. Uh, nowadays is segundo curso. Those days were segundo curso. She was my teacher, my French teacher, and now she's my colleague, my English colleague teacher. Uh, it was nice to talk with the, with her because uh, uh, she's a nice, a nice person. That would that was so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with all of us. Uh, Santiago, now, well, last year I had the, the, the chance to, to see you in a great interview with your former students of Mejia High School who are studying around the world at prestigious universities. I, I can't remember very well. I think it was, well, I, I know that some of them are in Scotland, for example, uh, others are in China or something like that. But I remember that you had a chance to to have a really nice uh, conversation with them uh, via Facebook. Now, how do you feel uh, to know that your former students are studying at these prestigious international universities? How do you feel, uh, Santiago? Really proud, 
really proud because uh, I feel really happy when I know my students are are studying, working uh, around the world. For example, they work, they were studying, they are studying in England, Taiwan, and in though in this interview. Uh, my my student uh, that uh, he, uh, he was from your student from Gar, he is now at England in the university and he's studying there. Uh, I I am really 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 happy for him and for the other students that are working and and I don't know I'm really happy for them because they are uh, with a Mejia's name uh around the uh, in the world yes mm -hmm, that's right yes by the way we want to send a special greetings again to all mejia uh, high school students who are studying uh at this prestigious universities in the world um by the way i had the chance to visit and 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 i had the chance to meet one of them in england yeah, uh, Danny, yeah, who was studying there and he was very kind. And I ask you the question about the flag because when I had a chance to, to meet him in England, he was with uh, his uh, Mejia high school flags all the time. And it was really nice that they feel very proud of being part of this prestigious institution. So. And then I had the opportunity to meet another uh, student from Mejia High School and the same. Yeah, because he was uh, with his flag all the time. And he told me many, many nice stories about this institution. So again, we want to send a special greetings to all of them. Thank you so much for being part of Masterpiece Show. All right, Santiago. Uh, so. Now let's talk a little bit more about uh, education. Well, you have uh, told us about your experience, well, how you started working as an English uh, instructor and you are currently study. Uh, sorry, you are currently working at this prestigious institution, Mejia High School. But now let's talk about the new educational system. Well, we know that the pandemic is something that nobody expected. So, my question is, Santiago, how challenging is the new educational system for you? How difficult or how challenging is this new educational system for you? Um, education nowadays has been a challenge for everybody. I think, I think so because uh, nobody was ready for that. Uh, especially, I. I think people who are not really well with technology usage, uh, it was most difficult. In my, uh, for me, uh, it was difficult too. But I, fortunately, I am, I, I can manage the the computer systems. I can use uh, some technology. Uh, it was a challenge. I like it. I like it because I. I learned a lot of by myself. Okay, by myself, I I learn uh, to use uh, some platforms and also uh, some pages that educational pages that help me to 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 do the classes better or try to uh, improve uh, for them to uh, because it's, uh, it's difficult not only for teachers, it's difficult for students too. Because it's an is a new a new way to, to, to teach them, and there is a new way to learn, and also the time is not is not is not enough for everybody. Uh, we have a lot of problems, connection problems. Uh, it's difficult. It's difficult. But uh, as teachers, we have to learn. We have to be prepared to to work well, to work better, to give more from them, to to have better students or try to have better students. That's right. Yes, that is what a real teacher uh, does for his or her students. And well, we know Santiago 
that you are an inspirational teacher for many of your former students. Yeah, I have heard many good comments about your methodology, your classes. Well, they remind you with nice, uh, with nice moments. Well, uh, I had the opportunity to talk uh, to one of my guard uh, students and well, he said many nice experiences about you, about your methodology and about your classes. So that is something uh, nice to hear from a student. Yeah, I don't know, Santi, if you have had the chance to, I don't know, maybe to meet your, your former students in the street. And suddenly they say, hey, teacher, how are you? And, and they start to remember good things about uh, the time when they study at Mejia High School, um, they start to uh, uh, remember your classes. I don't know if this had happened to you when you are walking in the street, well, before the pandemic, of course, when you were walking uh, in the street and suddenly your former students appeared. I don't know if you have had this experience. Yes, absolutely. I had those experience. Uh, it's really, really good because uh, we re remember uh, that things we did in classes, for example, the crazy, I love to do it projects. Okay, I love to do projects. I, I love to feel freedom to work. Uh, so may maybe my problem is that all or most of those things I don't have in my curriculum or my plans because it appears, it comes to my mind and appear because I, 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 I dream, I felt something or I was talking or I saw something, I, I decided I'm going to do this project. For example, okay, I, we want to have a role play, but invert, inverted, uh, inverted, for example, girls are gonna uh, act like uh, boys, boys are gonna act like girls, and they gonna do a talk show. Uh, also, we did, uh, technology projects they uh, uh did planes cars with risk uh, recyclable materials and also they use uh uh transmissors uh, many things we did uh, i don't know we did uh open house but but it not was in the in the curriculum and it was the plan it wasn't the planning because it appeared just appeared and, and we did it and just decided say okay let's gonna work let's do this yes yes that's i love and yeah it's good because okay we're gonna do this yes do it just do it because we did a a short film uh, it was really nice experience they were really happy and when we met with them uh we remember what they did uh, when when they were in those groups working in those projects. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Very interesting. Yeah. So you are one of those teachers who like to, um, to uh, include different activities in your planning, different uh, uh, activities for them. So this is what you really like to do. And that is something good. I think that all teachers must do this or should do this because, yeah, it's uh, really nice to know that your students are learning in a good way, in a positive way. And you are creating a good atmosphere in, in class. So that is something that all teachers, all English teachers should do or not just english teacher i think all teachers in general yeah because it's really nice to know that our students are learning in a different way yeah in a good environment so that is something something nice okay perfect excellent uh, do you have any nice experience about your um your, about teaching english i don't know you have something that it's very memorable for you and you say oh my god i i, I won't forget this uh, in my life uh, do you have a, a good memory from your from your english classes maybe uh good memory especially in what be specific yeah. for example maybe i don't know uh we participated in a in a in an i don't know in a spelling b and well, we we became the winners of this competition. My students were very proud. I don't know if you have any any memory 
uh, like that, maybe? Yes, yes. I have, okay, two things comes to my mind now. Okay, the first one was when I was teaching at elementary school and Rimbama High School, I organized a spelling bee contest uh, the, uh, with my, my, my co-workers, uh, but it was an inter-school, inter-scholar uh, uh, contest. Uh, it was a big challenge because uh, we have to organize with a uh, highest, with the schools, high schools, elementary schools that are in the top in English. Okay, you know that the most important uh, high schools uh, not only in English, we have to prepare rules, uh, everything, everything, environment to, to, uh, to, to, to receive them to our high school, prepare our, our students to represent our, our elementary school. It was a big challenge because the level, the English level was, was so high. So it was, it was hard. And also that I loved too much is when I was uh, in front of, uh, of a musical contest. It was in Equavisa, like with my Carlita from Mejia. We represent uh, from Mejia High School. Carlita is uh, a singer. Uh, uh, greetings for Carlita. Uh, uh, it was really, really, really hard. And uh, uh, because the time we have to walk up really, really early at uh, four o'clock to be at the uh, Canal Ocho, yes, at a uh, channel at 5, 6 a.m. to be ready to the presentations. Uh, we, we had on the computers with our students supporting her. Uh, and the most important, when I was really happy when I saw all the high school, all Mejia high school join. We get together. Uh, uh, supporting Carlita, elementary school, uh, basic, bachillerato. There is a, a, a picture at Facebook that is all all in the stairs, in the stairs and patio. Everybody is happy because Carlita is representing in the in the in the final, in the last competition. It was it was so nice. Uh, it's a nice a nice experience that I had this in my heart. Yeah, well, it's really interesting what you said. Well, your participation in a TV channel, yeah, and, and those competitions, Spell and Bee competitions, well, yeah, you have good memories. And well, in this show, we have had the opportunity to interview uh, some professors, some uh, students from this prestigious institution, Mejia High School. And well, they have demonstrated that Mejia High School are very, very intelligent and they are very creative and very hardworking. Uh, so that is something that we have to mention at this point. Very good. Thank you so much, Santiago, for sharing that important information uh, uh, about your uh, experience as an English instructor. Uh, by the way, I have here a message, an internal message, and they say, uh, and, they, and he or she says, you can send a special greetings to your high school, uh, sorry, to your Mejia, to your former students from Mejia High School. I don't know if you can do that, if you can do that, if you can do that now. Okay. Uh, okay. Special greetings for for everybody from Mejia High School, from other uh, schools, especially from, uh, I don't know if Paul Kelal is here. He was a guard student, he is in England. Uh, I, all, I always keep in contact with him and we are talking with him. And all the students, they say, hello, uh, be proud from where you come, that Mejia, you have to be, a good representative from Mejia High School, be good students, be, be good humans and responsible. That's correct. Thank you. Thank you so much, Santiago, for your greetings. And thank you so much to all uh, GAR students and Mejia High School students who are watching this show right now. Perfect. All right. So let's continue with uh, our next uh, section. All right. Um, so, Santiago, now I have to, well, I have three in total. Yes, three pictures, and I have two questions for you, all right? 
So let's begin with the first question. All right, the first question is, Santiago, why is this picture very special for you? Uh, it is easy because this is my family. Uh, I think the family is uh, the, the principle or the fundamental pillar in our life. And I also, I think, it's the pillar for the society. We have the good relationship with our family. Uh, we can be supportive from them and we can get a, whatever you want. The happiness is the principal thing. All right, perfect. Okay, we have another question with the same, we have another picture with the same question. And the question is, why is this picture very special for you? Oh, that was my master's degree relation. I am with my sister. Uh, it was a, a really nice picture because it was uh, something that I uh, then achieved that I did. Uh, it was purpose, it was really hard, but uh, we did it. So that's important because uh, a professional, a special professional part of my life. Mm -hmm, that's right. Very good. Excellent. All right. So now we have on the last picture and we have uh, our second question for you. All right. Um, so the question is, uh, Santiago, what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you see this picture? Ah, it was when I was in my high school, my high school, I was at Taekwondo. I was part of there. Uh, I'm there, uh, uh, down, left, right, sorry. Uh, it was a competition at uh, Rumiñawi Coliseum. Mm -hmm. So I would... I am there with my 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 friends and we we were ready to to fight at taekwondo with this it was nice it, uh, I was really happy to to represent my high school in, with uh, against another another schools All right well there you are Santiago is a clear example of the potential of these uh, students of Mejia High School and congratulations again, uh, Santiago, for all your achievements as well. Thank you so much for sharing that with all of us. All right, perfect. So now, Santiago, it's time to play. So we have uh, some games, and we are going to start with the first one. Uh, the first game is called uh, uh, Anhai the Picture. All right, as you can see, there you are in nine numbers. You are going to choose three numbers and I am going to give you three clues in total. The idea of this game is to unhide and reveal the hidden picture with the clues that I am going to give you, all right? So can you choose the first number, please? Uh, number two. Number two, all right, and here we go. Well, the topic of today's interview is music. This is one of the most famous British rock bands. Uh, I think, let me guess, just I saw that these faces uh, now recently appeared a, a movie, Bohemian Rhapsody. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, but I, 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 sorry, I can remember the name, but I know it. I know who, I, who are they, but okay, mm -hmm. another number, I think so. Mm -hmm. All right, you can choose the second number. Yeah, number nine. Number nine. All right, number nine. Okay, and the second clue, yeah. Uh, the, some of the hits of this um, band, the, this rock band, are We Are the Champions, Champions, and We Will Rock You. So what is the name of this famous band? <laughs> yes, I know, I know that who are they, but I don't remember the name that I saw yeah. the... I, I saw that his face. I know who they are they. I know that. I remember. I remind the the, the movie. Oh, shit. oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Another number. I don't. I don't remember the name. Well, but I, 
I'll know who are they. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see. Probably the teacher is a little bit nervous, but if you're watching this show, remember that you can help your- Yeah, yeah, I know it. Guest. I, um, I know. All right. So you, you have queen. you got it that's queen. yeah it's queen that's queen all know. right yes <laughs> perfect well you had you have one extra an extra extra number to choose yeah yeah but that's correct yes in fact it's the famous rock band Queen. yes this is a very very famous british rock band and some of his oh, some of uh, uh their hits are uh, we will rock you and we are the champions. Mm -hmm. And as Santiago said, yes, some years ago, well, recently, yeah, we had the chance to watch the um, the biography film about one of uh, its, mem its members, right? So Freddie Mercury, there you are. Okay, perfect, very good, thank you, Santiago. Okay, okay, very, very good, okay. Let's see. So now let's continue with our second game. All right, and here we go. Okay, uh, Santiago, the second game is called The Curious Wheel. So as you can see, there you are, a, a wheel. The wheel is divided into several sections. Each section contains two options. I am going to uh, I'm going to spin the wheel and I am going to ask you some questions. You can choose only one option or maybe you can answer the question and you can say both or neither and you have to tell us why. All right, so here we go. All right, <laughs> and the first question is, okay, Santiago, are you a fan of anime or Marvel? <laughs> Which do you prefer? Marvel, because uh, I like action movies, uh, mm -hmm. also science fiction movies. Uh, I think it's from my my times also. Nowadays is a a good recopilation, but Marvel from is all over time. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Thank you. Okay, let's continue with our next our next uh, question. Right, let's see. All right, our next question is, which do you prefer, dogs or cats? Dogs. Mm -hmm. I I feel they are more loyable. Uh, also, I like cats now. Uh, before, I didn't like it, but now I have a cat in my house because my, my daughters, they want a pet and the cat is here. Uh, I, I like it too. I like it too. This is a good, a good animal. All but right. Could... Perfect. <laughs> okay. Let's continue with our next question. All right. Okay, Santiago, our next question is, which do you prefer, a car or a bike? Mm. Both, but nowadays uh, I use car. That's why I prefer car. But when I was younger, I I used a lot of bike. Uh, now I try to use bike, but it's really really hard. My my uh, it's 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 really strong now. My physics is not good now. My mm -hmm. health? yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's continue with our next question. Okay, and our next question is, all right, Santiago, uh, which do you prefer, reading or writing? Uh, uh, writing nowadays, I try to, to write, I'm trying now to write, uh, because it's a good way to, to increase vocabulary. Uh, I would like to, to write, but it's really hard. Reading is good also, but and nowadays I'm trying to, to write more. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's continue with our next question. 
All right, here we go. And our next question is, okay, Santiago, which do you prefer, music or movies? Movies, movies now, movies, uh, because I spend a lot of time with my family when I so when I watch movies. Uh, music too, it's, it's nice because I love listening, especially uh, all music. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. And let's see um, what is the last question from the Curious Wheel. And here we go. We have a secret question. Okay, let's see. So the last question from the Curious Wheel is, Santiago, which do you prefer, Facebook or YouTube? Facebook, Facebook. I love, I love to share memes, so mm -hmm. that I prefer Facebook. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, Santi, for playing uh, um, the Cures Wheel. So now it's time to play the last game, all right? So here we go. The last game is called Let Us Know, right? As you can see, you have uh, 15 cards uh, uh, there. You are going to choose five cards. Each card, each card contains a, a question for you. Here we are going to know a little bit more about the things that you like or the things that you love. All right, so let's begin. Can you choose the first uh, card, please? Number eight. Number eight. And the question is, what's your favorite app? Oh, nice. Good question. Oh, I can consider up here WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think for communication, uh, I think WhatsApp it's nowadays my favorite uh, because I can communicate really, really fast with many people. Yeah, I think in case of uh, education, I, I love when up related to English, maybe a dictionary. I had a good dictionary. I love it because I look up uh, many words there. That's in his land. Yes, okay, perfect. Yes, a, a dictionary, online dictionary, yes, and also a WhatsApp, yes. Nowadays, during the pandemic, um, well, during uh, for this new educational system, uh, this application is very, very useful. Perfect, thank you. All right, let's continue. All right, can you choose the second card, please? Okay, number uh 14. all right there you are the question who is your favorite actor or your favorite actress sylvester stallone mm -hmm. and Jan ben Dam. uh because i saw a lot of movies from them i love the movies where they are uh action movies uh, i love it this is my times i spent a lot of time watching these movies when i was younger and a, a, a kid. Mm -hmm. Perfect, yes. In fact, he has a, a good collection of movies. Perfect, thank you. Okay, here we go. Let's continue with the third card, please. Number two. Number two. All right. And the question is, what's your favorite kind of music? Uh, okay, I prefer rock to to listen to more of the time uh, listen my car when i alone uh, rock i think is my favorite one but i don't have any problem with other kinds of music all right perfect yeah so you like all kind of music especially rock music perfect great let's continue with the fourth card please number nine number nine and the question is, what was your favorite subject at primary school? Science, because uh, I can uh, experiment, I can do, 
realistic I received realistic education. I, I make experiments. I think it's good because it, it was not a typical. That's why I love science because I can experiment. I can go out from the, the classroom. Mm -hmm, that's right. Yes. That is a really nice subject. Science. Perfect. Okay. And let's see. Let's see which, what, what is the last card. Number 10. Number 10. And the question is, what's your favorite song? Oh, I don't have a favorite song, but uh, I I prefer, okay, my favorite ones are from Mago de Oz songs. Uh, not Molinos de Viento, no, that's the typical ants from other songs from Mago de Oz. And also I love from uh, the song, uh, the one from Metallica also. All right, perfect. Very good, thank you. Okay, there you are. The five cards. Okay, perfect. Thank you so, so much, Santiago. All right, so now, Santiago, it's time to ask you the three final questions, okay? So here we go. All right, Santiago, uh, the first question is, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Okay, I hope, I hope working on Central University is, uh, teaching and where I studied um, the philosophy faculty teaching any any subject not the typical english that uh, another 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 subject in, in english i love it mm -hmm. okay perfect yeah it would be really nice to work uh, at your university that would, that, that would be fantastic all right and the second question is santiago what country would you like to visit and why Mm, okay, I'd like to visit Germany. Um, I think it's a nice country because it's uh, they have a good a good quality in the things. They have a, a good nice story because they come out from the ash. Um, and also, I like to 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 visit Russia. I don't know. Uh, why but when i was a kid uh this country always catch my attention mm -hmm. all right perfect yeah that sounds really really interesting okay and the last question uh, santiago um if you could make only three wishes what would they be and why mm. okay my first wish uh my first wish my parents could live forever. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I, you know, uh, my family is my pillar, so that's why my parents are on the top of this pillar. So, I love, I love, I love them. I love them. So that's a wish. It's impossible, but it's a wish. Yes. Okay. Okay. Another another wish. Uh, I could give my my daughters the education they want and they can all the things about education uh, have the opportunity to give them the they can go to study in other places where they want mm -hmm. because yeah it's important i i'm gonna be happy if they are happy simple like that mm -hmm. uh, and the last wish and the last wish, uh, I wish in my elderly, elderly age, uh, keep traveling with my wife around the world, uh, enjoying or retire. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for sharing your wishes. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, so Santiago, we are almost done. So now it's time to read the message just that people sent us to our Facebook live chat. All right, so here we go. Uh, Alejandro Astudillo says, good luck, bro. Thank you so much, Alejandro Astudillo, for watching Masterpiece Show. 
Fernando says, incredible interview. Keep on going. Thank you so much. Well, Fernando sent you a nice sticker, but here we can't see it very well. But then you can uh, check it out the comment section and you will realize that this is a really nice sticker. Thank you. All right. Uh, another inspirational teacher, Lenny Nordonez, he says, uh, uh, hello from Rio Bamba. Thank you so much, uh, Lenny, for watching Masterpiece Show. And we want to send a special greetings to all people who are watching this show over there in Rio Bamba. Thank you so much. That is a really nice city. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lenny, for watching Masterpiece Show. Well, uh, Diana Vanessa sent you these nice stickers. Thank you so much, Diana Vanessa, for watching Masterpiece Show. Alejandro Studillo, our high school is the best in town. All right, yes, we have talked about this uh, prestigious institution, uh, Mejia High School. And yeah, well, we want to send a special greetings to all uh, Mejia High School students who are watching this show right now. Thank you so much for being part of Masterpiece Show. Okay, let's continue. Diego Fernando says a uh, special greetings for you, my dear friend, Santiago. Thank you so much, Diego Fernando, for watching Mastery Show. Okay, Patty Cargua says, um, all right, many blessings for you, Santiago. Keep on going. Thank you so much, Patty. Well, Patty sent you a nice sticker as well. Thank you so much for your sticker, uh, Patty. And thank you so much for watching Masterpiece Show. Well, Diana Vanessa sent you these nice hearts. Thank you so much, Diana, for watching Masterpiece Show. Uh, Patty Garwa says, excellent work, uh, excellent job. Uh, and Divisa Producciones, keep on going. Uh -huh. We would like to continue um, knowing a little bit more about uh, important people. Thank you so much, Patty. All right, and there you are, one of the your former students, I think, <laughs> Paul Kelal, he says, the best high school around the world uh -huh. with the, the blue and gold in our hearts. All right, thank you so much, Paul, who is watching this show in Scotland. Thank you so much, Paul, for watching Masterpiece Show. Paul also says, uh, it's a pleasure to see two of the best teacher that Ecuador has, the best for both of you, Edu educators of my country. Thank you so much. Well, a special greetings to all our to all um, GAR students who are watching this show around the world. Thank you so much for your comments and thank you so much for being part of Masterpiece Show. All right, well, Lenny was uh, trying to help you with the, with the correct answer. It's, that is the band, that is Queen. Okay, perfect, very good, excellent. All right, okay, we have Paul. Well, <laughs> a student from Mejia High School is never and nervous. <laughs> Come on, teacher. <laughs> we can lose uh, something, but not because we don't have something enough there. <laughs> okay, thank you, Paul. Kelal. All right, thank you. And Christian Estrella sent you these hearts. Well, I think this is the color of the flag of, of Mejia High School. Thank you so much. And Diana Vanessa says, my favorite teacher. Thank you so much, Diana, for watching Masterpiece Show. We want to send a special greetings to all people who are watching this show right now. I am going to read the names of those people who are watching this show right now. Well, we want to send a special greetings to Marlon Mayorga. Thank you so much, Marlon Mayorga, for watching Masterpiece Show. Johnny Abeth, thank you so much, Johnny, for watching Masterpiece Show. A Yache Tech student, Melis Chavez. Thank you so much, Melis, for watching Masterpiece Show. Our inspirational teacher, Lenny Nordonez in Rio Bamba. Thank you so much, Lenny. And another English teacher, Walter San Pedro. Thank you so much, Walter, for watching Masterpiece Show. And then we have um, another Yache Tech student, Melanie Nicola Aguilar Ramirez. Thank you so much, Melanie, for watching Masterpiece Show. Marlon Yanes, thank you so much, Marlon, for watching Masterpiece Show. Lenin Kaisa, thank you so much, Lenin, for watching Masterpiece Show. We have more special greetings to, all right, here we have Patty Carwa, thank you so much, Patty, for your nice messages. Diana Vanessa, thank you so much, Diana, for your nice messages as well. Thank you so much, Fernando, for watching Masterpiece Show. Michael Andres, thank you so much, Michael Andres. 
Jonathan Fernando, the fan number one of Masterpiece Show. Christian Estrella, thank you so much, Christian, for watching Masterpiece Show. And we have to send a special greetings to Paul Kelal in Scotland, who is watching Masterpiece Show. Thank you so much for watching Masterpiece Show. And we have the last message from Lourdes Llerena. Special greetings to you, Santiago. Thank you so much, Lourdes Llerena, for watching Masterpiece Show. All right. Well, Santi, you have many fans. <laughs> okay, Santi. So, uh, Santi, if you have your last message uh, to share with us, or if you want to send us greetings to someone, now you can do it. Okay, first of all, thank you, you, Maury, for inviting me. Uh, just, I want to say my, my students, uh, my friends, that always we have we, we need to have in our mind that we have to be a good person, a good professional, and don't, don't give up. Everybody has his mistakes, and the mistake is the opportunity to, to know that the window with the solutions. See, we have a door that closed, we can open more windows. Uh, no, that's all. That's the message. All right, thank you so much, Santiago, for your message, and thank you so much for being here in our show. We truly enjoyed this interview. Thank you, thank you so much for sharing your inspirational uh, story. Well, and let me tell you something. Uh, many of your former students were waiting for this interview because they suggested, uh, well, when I mentioned that we will have special greetings here, and they say, well, it should be a good idea to have a, our inspirational uh, teacher in your show. So that is why uh, we decided to invite you because you are a real inspirational teacher for your students and also for your former students. All right, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Santi, for being here in our show. Okay, thank you so much. All right, and we have, I think, the last message. Well, we have there Julie Annabella. She also sent uh, this wonderful uh, heart with the color of Mejia High School flag. All right, and we have Lenin Ordonez, never give up, never give up. Good luck to all. Thank you so much, Lenin, for watching Masterpiece Show. All right, perfect. Okay, so, uh, well, there you are. He is Santiago Zambrano, and definitely his profile is a masterpiece. Remember to join us on Thursday. We are going to have another special guest in our show with another awesome story to tell you. And remember that on Saturdays, you, you will have the chance to meet another a, a special guest in our special program at 2 o'clock. So remember to follow us on our um, uh, social network channels on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. We are as uh, Andy Visa Producciones, and there you can find more information about our special guest. Thank you so much, uh, Santiago, for being here in our show. Thank you so much to all people who were watching this show, and we will see you on Thursday. All right. Thank you so much, Santiago. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.